This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. This week, not so equal. There's no better starting place for the creators of drama than visceral desires from deep in the human psyche. In a world rife with injustice, the producers of the original 80s TV show, The Equalizer, understood the power of a persona with unfettered franchise to bring justice, especially where institutions have failed. Unlike in politics, where this usually goes horribly wrong, in fiction we get a hero like Robert McCall, who this time around in The Equalizer 3 stumbles injured into a remote Italian coastal village where the local mafia is involved in an international drug ring believed to be raising money for jihadi. It's game on when the supposedly retired McCall has a phone number that picks up in Langley or somewhere. Operatives are then on their way as he befriends the townsfolk who are being tormented by an array of violent beyond redemption sociopaths who don't know until it's too late that they've messed with the wrong guy. If this sounds pretty generic, you may not have seen the first two equalizers or be familiar in general with Denzel Washington, whose stage presence borders on omnipotence. While the violence in this one can put some horror films to shame, director Antoine Fuqua uses it surgically and sparingly. It's no John Wick. The violence is interwoven into complex storylines and subplots, and especially into McCall's life situation, of which we know some tragic facts, but little of his inner life and struggle for belonging. Support kudos go to Dakota Fanning as CIA agent Emma, and to Gina Scaladero as McCall's friend Amina, as well as the Italian actors doing The Henchman. Stunningly shot and with an ominous and insistent soundtrack, The Equalizer 3 is a film with few equals in its genre. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. Catch up with us at Take2MovieReview.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.